my sweet kitty. I love you, love you so much. Oh, that niece of yours loves that cat. I'll say. Heather's always hugging Fuzz Button and cuddling her. <laughs> so, uh, Fuzz Button, how are you adjusting to life as a house pet? Don't call me Fuzz Button. I am Nefertiti, leader of the cat people, and soon to be ruler of this world. You don't remember that episode? For those of you who missed that cartoon, let me bring you up to speed. Now, I want you to pay attention. I'm only going to do this once. <sighs> Liz and her niece Heather came back from a trip to Egypt with a souvenir mirror that turned out to have magical powers, which my good pal Odie here discovered by accident. The mirror was actually a portal to ancient Egypt, the kingdom of Katra. Odie and I were sucked into this world to the portal, which is where we first met Fuzz Button. I mean, Neferkitty. She tried to enslave us for all eternity so she could wage a war on mankind, giving cats total domination over people. I told her cats already dominated, but she didn't believe me. So I tricked her into following me back through the portal to John's living room, where she would have no power. Then I destroyed the mirror, leaving her stranded in this world where she was quickly adopted by Heather, who assumed she was just another stray cat. Okay, back to our story. Be afraid, Garfield. Be very afraid. Of what? You can't do anything without that magic mirror. It's broken, Fuzz Button. Hey, Liz, remember that mirror you and Heather brought back from your trip to Egypt? You mean the one that got smashed to smithereens? As good as new. All it took was a little glue and a lot of patience. The mirror! I am saved. Saved from a life as low, Fuzz Button. Okay, now I'm very afraid. I'd better go check on the lasagna. I'll lend you a hand. <laughs> Back off, Furman. <laughs> Not if I can help it. Oh, look, the kitties are playing. You're out of luck, Fuzz Button. I'm breaking it again. <laughs> what? Nice try, Fatso. The magic mirror is mine! You're forgetting oh. something, as I recall from the first episode. The magic doesn't work unless Odie licks the mirror. And Odie's not stupid enough to lick the mirror again. <laughs> Are you Odie? Odie. <laughs> okay, so he is that stupid. <laughs> the High Priestess oh. of Katra! At long last, your majesty. Now, my loyal subjects, bring me my magic scepter. <laughs> this is more like it. Behold, Garfield, the finger of Osiris. Garfield! Odie, I was about to... Yes, John? Hello? Are you in there? You turn him right back this second. He hasn't made my dinner yet. Annie Liz, huh? have you seen Fuzz Button? Don't call me Fuzz Button! <laughs> wow. Do you have a permit for that thing? Hang on there, boy. Looks like we're next. The finger's magic only works on humans, or else you and your idiot jackal would already be turned to stone. Keep an eye on these two, and don't let that mirror out of your sight. As you wish, great Nefertiti. Now, I have a world to conquer. Every single miserable little human will be turned into a statue. <laughs> Are you really going to stare at that magic mirror all day? Great Neferkitty commanded me. You see, I think she meant the other magic mirror. Other magic mirror? I'll show you. Time to deliver the mail to the Arbuckle House. What awful thing will happen to me today? It's good to be me again. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong, oh great Neferkitty? I still have seven billion more humans to turn into statues. I will need a high vantage point. Hm. 
see? You change channels with this magic wand, and the magic mirror takes you all over the world. That's cool. Can I try it? Oh, of course, be my guest. I'm coming to you from downtown, where more people have been mysteriously turned to stone. The latest victim has been identified as the only popular but, pizzeria. But how can he make pizza if he's turned into stone? Okay, now she's gone too far. Hey, I'll give you popcorn if you tell me how to cancel the power of that magic wand. You would need the toe of Anubis to do that. <gasps> Oops, I shouldn't have told you that. Then again, you'll never find it. It's hidden in our pyramid, and only Neferkitty can use it. Popcorn, please. Extra butter. Only Neferkitty, huh? Hmm. Now, I need that can of blue paint in the garage. Come on. Oh, but first, I have to make popcorn. Hmm? Not bad. And now, the final touch. <laughs> <laughs> you be my pet jackal. Let's cross over into their world and bring back that toe thingy, Bobby. <laughs> Look, Odie, the Temple of Cat Rock. Never Kitty, is that really you? Of course. Why do you even ask? Well, you seem a little fatter. Huh? Uh -huh. And not quite as pretty. And a lot older. Okay, quickly. Bring me that toe of Anubis. I need it to finish conquering mankind. All right. I guess it is our long lost high priestess. <laughs> Throw her and a pet jackal in the dungeon. Huh? Yeah, but what about if we Come on, Pet Jackal. Run! We can't go home without the toe of Anubis, Odie. She and the Jackal will spend the rest of their lives in the dungeon. Guys, guys, guys. There's been a mistake. I'm not Never Kitty, okay? I'm Garfield, look! It's Garfield. You freed us from Never Kitty when you lured her into your world. Now that she is gone, we can do all these things we weren't allowed to do. We can even take naps. <sighs> yeah, naps are great, aren't they? Hey, uh, can I have the toe of Anubis, please? I uh, have to get back to Earth and stop Neferkitty for good. Sure. Thanks, fellas. Buddy, let's go home. <laughs> 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 Goodbye. Goodbye, <laughs> What's wrong? Was Nermal on some show? <laughs> Melinda broke up with Jack as he was walking her to the altar. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Don't believe everything you see in this mirror, especially politicians and ads for stuff that regrows hair. We have reports that a blue cat wearing an Egyptian headdress is responsible for turning people into stone. The city has dispatched animal control specialists to deal with it. Animal control specialists? That's us, Pete. It's a fancy word for dog catcher. Perhaps they can stop people from being turned to stone. <laughs> there she is, Pete. The blue one. Oh, yeah, she can't stop us from catching her, Al. <laughs> yes, I can. Whoa. To the rooftop. From there, I can send my energy out to the entire city and then the world. Odie, we need to get there before they turn everyone to stone. But first, let's see if this thing even works. Oh! Uh, what was that? Good heavens. Is everyone okay? That was a very bad kitty. <laughs> Peter's gonna owe me a lot of pizzas for this. You're right. There she is. I will now use my wand to send its powerful energy across the entire land, turning everyone instantly to stone. 
At long last, the cat people will rule the earth! <laughs> Who did that? I did! With my little toe of Anubis! The toe of Anubis? But, but, but that's impossible! Sorry about that, Fuzz Button! Don't call me! Oh, never mind. Get them, you fools! Yes, great never kitty! <laughs> yeah, I know they're coming for us, but I'm not worried. <laughs> huh? Guys, I have a job for you. Find them! Find them and destroy them! Get it! Gee, I'm really gonna miss her. I'll get you for this! You haven't seen the last of me! <laughs> I will have my revenge. The world shall be mine! As for Garfield, I shall personally... There she oh. is! <laughs> no! Anything but her! <laughs> fun, fun. You've been a bad, bad kitty, but I still love you. Yes, I love, love, love my little Well, that fun. should be the last we hear from Nefer Kitty, queen of the cat people, unless... Unless they decide to do a sequel to this episode. Oh. Mm. <laughs>